Hello and welcome to DigiTips. Short tips, tricks and tutorials brought to you by Kari Jensen, Adobe Certified Instructor. Illustrator files that you've created can be added to Photoshop as smart vector objects, or I should actually call them vector smart objects. I think that's the official name. And really what that is, is Illustrator art that is nested inside its own layer in Photoshop. Now there's a few ways in which you can add vector smart objects. You can either copy and paste them straight from Illustrator, or in this case, um, I'm going to use the file place command and navigate to um, Illustrator file here, my coffee bug, and I'm going to hit the place command, click OK, and what I now see is a transform bounding box that appears around the art that I've placed, which behaves a little bit like the edit free transform. So I can hold down the shift key and drag one of the corners to scale this up and down, or I can move my cursor outside one of the corner areas and rotate that and move my cursor inside this bounding area and then move and position it wherever I would like to have it. And I'm doing all this by the way, just sort of on the fly. Hit the enter key to eventually apply that or if you're on a Macintosh, hit the return key to apply that. Now to pick up layers and select layers within a Photoshop file, I use the Move tool in combination with the Auto Select Layer. I really like that. For instance, if I go to this Espresso um, layer, which is also a smart object, in this case it contains text inside the smart object layer, notice that it automatically selects the layer in the Layers palette and can't, I can shift this up and down. I can do the same with that cup of coffee bug, so I don't have to manually go back and forth between my layers. Now in addition, what I will do is I will enable in the tool options here the Show Transform Control. This allows you to easily apply transformations to selected layers without having to access the free transform command that you've got under the edit menu or I think the shortcut for that is Control T or Apple T or Command T if you're on a Macintosh. Now that adds a little bounding box around the selected layer, really cool. So now I can use another shortcut, the Alt or Option key to drag multiple bug copies and I've got my smart guides on so I can position them properly and align them to either the center of the other object. And with that show transform controls, I can now scale the copies as I'm making them and rotate them, holding down those same shortcut keys on the keyboard, position it again, hit the enter or the return key to apply and generate the finished art, then again hold down the Alt or Option key and we'll drag another copy and we'll rotate that a bit and I'll make that a little bit smaller holding down the Shift key and just because I can I will create another copy because I think he's about ready to take a dive into that coffee cup and I'll make it a little bit smaller and push him in there and hit the Enter key. So what this has done in the background it has generated three digital coffee bug coffees, so they've sort of replicated themselves.